Hey family, welcome, welcome, welcome to video number one. We are live, we are live. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for visiting this page. Thank you for supporting us on this page. We are just executing that thing called obedience mm. to God, the Holy Spirit, mm. to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So for those who did not watch the intro video, mm. there are always going to be certain highlights that we want you to tie into. Number one, just an overarching, always be comfortable. Bring your blanket, bring your mat, uh, bring your futon, your comfy chair, whatever the case may be, because we want to really make sure that you are comfortable and focused for what we have to bring to you. There will always be scriptures. The, uh, the second overarching is that this is to promote you deepening your relationship with God. If you get nothing else from our lives, we encourage you to know him for yourself. Not what your mama said, not what daddy does, not aunt, uncle, cousin, grandma, grandpa, none of that. That's great. It's good to have support. But who is God to you? How do you interact with God? What is your communication like with God? That's what these lives are to encourage. So to do that, some highlight points. You will always get scripture. Anything we talk about is based on scripture. So yes, we will talk about what does it mean to us? What did God speak to us as we were reading it? How can it relate to life? But then that gives you the opportunity. You read the scriptures for yourself. What is God speaking to you about it? What is God illuminating to you from reading the scriptures? That will always be the point. So there's always homework. Number two highlight, there will always be a song. We both love music. Some videos will just be me. Some will be our tag team because I feel like God has called us in this season to be ministry tag team in some things. And so, but what, how does the song speak? We know what it spoke to us as we listen to it, yeah. but you listen to it maybe more than once, maybe a couple times throughout the week and then say, God, what are you saying to me through this song? Mm -hmm. So it's encouraging that deep dive again with, with Abba, our Abba father, mm -hmm. our God, the creator God, what mm -hmm. is going on between us? That's encouraging you to go deeper. Yeah. And then the third thing, the third thing, reflecting on your story, because everybody's testimony is so important. So we're always in our lives going to bring our story, how it is to us. We are not the end all be all. This is just our perspective, what God is showing us, what God illuminates to us, but we all see and know in part. So what he, you bring, what someone else may bring may be different than what we bring. And that's all good. That's great. So again, the reflection, the solitude time is so critical. And so that would be the key. So the scriptures, always. The song or songs, always. And then what does it bring? What, how, do, how can it uh, affect, impact my life or what does it say about my life? Maybe a story resonates with you. I have a similar story, you know, dive deep with it, personalize this thing, right? Mm. And the last part, the last fourth highlight is evangelism. We are all called to bring more, to go out, you get saved, you get delivered, and you go out <laughs> and make more. And so we want you to spread the word. Who does God place on your heart to send it to? Don't just send it to people. Don't be petty. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Who did God say, you know, Jane Doe, John Doe? Who should you send it to? Let the Holy Spirit guide you and send it to that person or persons and evangelize. It's a way of evangelism, spreading the good news. Amen. So that will be every single video you see on this page. So the overarching is how can you deepen with God? How can you know God for yourself? Yes, it's great for the pastor to know it. Yes, it's great for the deacon, the bishop, the prophet, the apostle, whoever. It's great. It's great that they know. But God has called all of us to know him. Mm. And so what we want to encourage, yeah. something that was not necessarily encouraged in our life, yeah. knowing him for yourself, mm. that is what I feel the message God has given me this season, helping people to know God for yourself. But mm. no more ado, no more ado. Mm. We're going to get it rocking. Uh, today is a tag team. God laid on my heart several titles. Mm. The first one we're going to touch upon today is persevering through obstacles and mm. oppression. Mm. You shall not die. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Persevering mm. through obstacles and oppression. Mm. You shall not die. Mm. 
Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. So I just want to, uh, I'm Darcella, by the way, for mm. those who are new, I mm. assume a lot of my uh, other family and connections will be visiting the page, but I don't want to uh, take lightly that it could be new people. My mm. name is Darcella. Everyone calls me Darcy. Mm. And this is my big sis. Hello, I'm Alicia. Hello, hello, hello. And so we're going to be doing some together and some will just be me as God leads me because he's the one who laid this project on me. So we'll see how this evolves. It's evolving and, it, and it's going to change over time. But I want to just expound on that title before my big sis takes it off. Persevering through obstacles and oppression. Hopefully everyone on here is a believer, but I'm welcoming those who don't believe. I'm welcoming those from other religions. Let's have a conversation. Everything should be respect. Everything should be love. That's what God said in his word. Everything is love and respect. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So I want this to be something that can be touched upon by whoever God graces to come on this page. Persevering through obstacles and oppression. How many of us, as we're trying to follow God, we're saved. We now have been baptized and we're trying to figure out this thing called life. Mm. As we know, the world is doing its thing. The world is out here just doing whatever and, and whenever and whoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as we're trying to now, we're this flesh, this mm -hmm. soul. We're trained. We have our backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We have what we bring from our past, yeah. family upbringings, culture, environment, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, yeah. schooling. You know, that intellectual pride will get you. You think you know everything and, and, and you don't know how to be submitted. Yeah. But when you come from that and now you're trying to do things God's way mm. and it's already hard enough because the world is not going to really support you doing mm. things God's way. Mm. The world has its own way. And then you hit that wall. Obstacles and opposition. opposition. As you are trying to walk this Christian walk. Mm. And so when we say you shall not die, we're going to expound what that mm. means for each of us. Persevering through obstacles and oppression, mm. you shall not die. All right. So kicking off persevering, you shall not die. I'm going to go into my first scripture point. Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. Well, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So just really expounding briefly on a part of my story. I've overcome many trials of my life from single parenthood to navigating school, as well as navigating two separate degrees and licenseships to be the best woman God has made me. Backtrack through lack of support or lack of self-worth, because I didn't love me enough to say, Alicia, you're worthy of this. Alicia, you're a daughter of Yahweh. You're a daughter of God. These things are not beneath you. You deserve these things too. But I really had to take a hard look at me and say, how bad do you want it? Mm. Do you want to stay on the level you're on? Or do you want to excel in the spirit from going from a baby Christian to milk to semi-meat and semi-solid? But it was a journey. It was a walk. It did not happen overnight. It wasn't, okay, you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. Do not fall victim to self-guilt and condemnation and not only judgment of other people, but judgment of you because we can be our own worst critics. We can talk ourselves out of a promise. We can talk ourselves out of a blessing based upon what's going on in our thought process. His word says for us to take our thoughts captive. Mm -hmm. Mark eleven twenty three. cast these mountains to the sea. Cast them, throw them away. Tear down that old thought. Replace it with the positive. So when you're meditating on God's word, just by briefly going into my story, I had to go line by line to say, no, I'm not going to think this way. I am worthy. I can do it differently. I can overcome it. Mm -hmm. I am a conqueror. Yeah. Just briefly going into that process. And you can too. But it takes obedience. 
face obedience to do it mm -hmm. and courage. So just going back into Joshua 1, be strong and courageous. Be bold as our lion of Judah. I am a, a conqueror. I am an overcomer. Not just possible, not might. I am. So repeat those daily affirmations in your quiet time. And you too can overcome trials. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Did y'all catch that family? She was dropping so many nuggets in just that we're just getting started. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. She was dropping so many nuggets. What I love that she said is, yes, mm -hmm. we can. And, ha, the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is speaking right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can always pinpoint how someone comes up against mm -hmm. us. And she acknowledged that. Yes, there are other things, external things. Mm -hmm. But first, and this is what we should be doing in life anyway, mm -hmm. we must first look at ourselves, right? What does the word say? Mm -hmm. How can you talk about the speck mm -hmm. in your brother's eye, your mm -hmm. sister's eye, mm -hmm. when you have a log in your own? Mm -hmm. This is a lesson that God had to teach both of us. And this mm -hmm. is how we approach life in every situation. Mm -hmm. God, what are you saying to me? Yeah. God, what are you illuminating to me? What can mm -hmm. I learn from the situation? Mm -hmm. We love to start with, he did this, she did that, this company, they that, mm. this organization. Mm. We loved, we we real quick to tell you what somebody else did. Yeah. Come on, human, humanity. But we lack a lot of times looking at ourselves. Mm. That doesn't mean that it's all you. Mm. There are situations that happen to you, mm. uh, such as rape, molestation, mm. uh, domestic violence. I, I get that. There are certain things that, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're the, the contributing factor and you deserve what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. It's not anything mm -hmm. like that. But we always, in every situation, is what can I learn mm -hmm. from this? Even in the hardest, toughest situations, mm -hmm. loss of a loved one, death, um, financial mm -hmm. struggles, uh, just different things that happen, illness, mm -hmm. severe illnesses. What can we learn from it? Mm -hmm. Every situation we can learn from. We can take it away. Can it be used for now? Or can it be used for later? Every situation. I can't think of one that we can't take a life lesson out of. And even if it tried to teach you a negative life lesson, God can flip it around with his word and show you, illuminate to you what you should learn, what you can learn from this. Because there are unhealthy uh, lessons that yes. you could pinpoint, but we want to root ourselves in the word of God at all yes. times. Amen. Amen. That's your safeguard because your opinion and your, mm -hmm. and your, that gets, it gets a little cloudy, it gets a little foggy, a little but you want to always root it in the word. So I love mm -hmm. that she started with herself. Mm -hmm. What part she has played in the obstacles and the oppression. Mm -hmm. Do not oppress yourself. Mm -hmm. How often do we do that family? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest, because on this page, we're going to have real conversations. Mm. This is for people who really want to dive deep. This is mm. not for surface, okay? Mm. How often mm. do we get in our own way? Mm. How often are we the one limiting? We may think it's everybody else, but how often is it us, our mm. thought patterns, our mm. behaviors, how mm. we're approaching decisions, mm. how we're unwilling to accept wise counsel, mm. how we always want to do things the same way, mm. right? What is insanity? Doing the same thing the same way and expecting a different result. Yeah. Come on. How often is it us? And how often are we not leaning in mm. to the hearing of the Holy Spirit, leaning in to what our word is saying we should do? How often? Mm. And we live in a fallen world. I have to say this from the beginning because yes. I feel this impressed on my spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. We live in a sin-filled world. Mm. There are certain things that are going to happen, unfortunately, since the, mm. the, the sin, the ultimate sin mm. in the Garden of Eden. Fallen. We are in a fallen world. So there are some things that happen to people, but that doesn't mean that God, God is the breakthrough God. He is the turnaround God. He can take every part, good, bad, ugly, and different. He can turn it for you. He, you, he loses nothing. He throws away nothing. He can turn it for you, but it, 
needs, you need that partnership. Mm. You need to mm. couple yourselves with him mm. so that he can blossom your mm. life story, your situation, mm. and make something out of it because he can make something out of anything. Ooh. He is our limitless God. Ooh. If we can't, if no one around us can, he if can. we don't have the connections, God is the one. Ooh, he He's can. always the one. We mm. like to prioritize other things above God, but mm. God is always the top. The one in it. The mm. one in it. And so I love that, sis. You highlighted mm. how mm. we can be an obstacle. I love how you started with that. That was so prophetic. <laughs> I love how you started there. But just give an example. What are some things externally? We went internal. Let's oh, now yeah. dive deep to the external. What are some things that you know that could be leading to some obstacles and oppression as you're trying to walk this Christian walk? How, what are some things that people are going to need to persevere through? What obstacles and oppression can you think of from your story? So you're definitely going to need to have strong courage. You're definitely going to have, you're definitely going to need identity. Who are you rooted and grounded in? You're going to have people who are going to throw dirt, who are going to throw mud, who want to see you fall or have your best interest at heart and feel as though this is the best thing for you outside of what God called you to do. So it doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make them wrong. It just means it's not the will of God for you. So you're going to come against those people. You're going to come against people who just want to throw dirt and mud on you just because they just don't like you as the person, as the being. It's going to happen. You got to have that tough skin. You got to say, you know what? My father told me this, and I'm following that. No matter what family members say, friends, cousin, boyfriend, auntie, whomever, no matter what they say, you have to say, you know what? I heard the father's voice clearly. Going into John 10, 27, my sheep know my voice and they hear me and they follow. Mm -hmm. Cutting out all the external resources, but saying, no, I hear God, I hear Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm leaning, pressing into that in spite of what anybody else says. The, the boss, the coworker, Oh, the person says, oh, you'll be great for this. Okay, but what did God say? Mm. You're still mm. fighting against oppression, not literally trying to attack you, but distract you, which is still another form of it. And we fail to look at that component. We look at what's being thrown on us, but we're not looking at what distracts us, which is still oppression, which is still bondage. Come on. I love that. I love that. I love that you highlighted that. I love that. You said so much right there as well. There are some people who just are not going to like you. They're not going to agree. They're going to feel you've changed. They're going to feel mm -hmm. you slighting them because mm -hmm. you're no longer drinking or drugging mm -hmm. or, or sex before marriage, yeah. or you're no longer lying. You no longer want to steal. You no longer want to oh, fight. You oh. no longer want to cuss people out. I mean, the list goes on and on and on because you don't want to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. You didn't change. You, you think you better than Different. us. You think you, whatever, mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Different. There's going to be that obstacle. Mm -hmm. So overcoming your fear of men, overcoming, mm -hmm. um, worrying about people's judgment. I think that's something we've had to overcome yeah. too. You know, judgment. we've had to overcome a lot of that guilt, guilt condemnation, shame, condemnation, shame. but guess what? Woo. Jesus took all that on the cross. So yeah. when we take it back on ourselves, mm. we're basically saying, God, you died for no reason. Jesus, Ooh. you went on that cross. You went on that cross for no Ooh. reason Ooh. because I'm going to take what you took already. What I'm, you paid the price I'm gonna for, back on me. I'm going to put it back on me. Oh, oh, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Right. Amen. And that. so when you, you come against those type of people, oh. some people just want to see you fail. They don't even know why they don't like you. Mm. Okay. So mm. some people know you, know the old you and want to mess you up. Mm. Then there's people who don't even know you and they still want to mess you up. Mess you up. They feel guilt and shame or whatever oh. adjective about themselves. Projecting and they're projecting it on you. Okay, favorite. I'm not where I want to be in life. So I don't want to see you get where you I'm should be in life. Either. So then they come at you that way. Mm. But then you have the people who also, I love how you highlight that, who think they know better. Mm. Come on. We're constantly evolving. We're constantly changing. Maybe in this season, it was working. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are listening to what God told mm -hmm. you. And then God tells you to mm. pivot. 
<laughs> then yeah. God tells you to shift. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but why do you want to change that? Why do you want to stop that? It's working. Mm -hmm. It's fruitful. You're making all this money. Mm -hmm. You have all these connections. Mm -hmm. Why would you go and do X, Y, Z? But like she said, you have to know what God told you in that season mm -hmm. when you're diving in deep and it takes time. So mm -hmm. again, we, we started this saying when you're first beginning, it takes time to know God's voice. I think yeah. that'll be another life for us. Mm -hmm. How we are learning to hear God's voice because mm -hmm. we're, we're on the journey, y'all. Yes. No perfection here oh, at all, okay? Oh, yeah. uh -uh. But how we are learning to strengthen mm -hmm. ourselves in different things. But you have to know what God is saying for you. Mm -hmm. That's the importance of prayer. That's the importance mm. of fasting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm coming for y'all who think fasting is not yeah, important. Yes, I am. Important. You have to fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta make your spirit man yeah. stronger than the flesh Definitely. because we are sinful beings. Yes. We're not gonna wanna do a lot of these things that God wants us to do. No, we're not. No. You're never gonna wanna do it. Let's be serious. <laughs> You're gonna wanna do what makes you comfortable, mm. what makes you feel mm. good, what make, gives you applause and praise. That's mm. what your flesh wants to do. Mm -hmm. Some things God's gonna tell you to do, you're not gonna see the fruit for a while. Mm. you may get no claps you may even get fussed at but guess what are you mm. going to be willing to be obedient mm. and so the persevering through obstacles persevering yes. through oppression we sometimes have to lean into god may be our friend in that season mm -hmm. holy spirit may be the one guiding us and leading mm. us forward but are we going to be good with that how can we persevere yes. into that mm -hmm. so as we mentioned in the intro video worship is a weapon yeah get your playlist ready each season that playlist may change but that music that worship that solitude time mm. when you're just laying mm. at the feet of the father mm. and pouring out what's on your heart will get you to persevere yes. through obstacles it's interesting i love how you mentioned all that sis some scriptures that came to mind for me mm. as we're continuing on come on james and peter came to mind for me mm. 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 uh in acts 12 one through mm. five uh, the apostle James, he just got um, murdered by Herod mm -hmm. at the time. And then Peter mm -hmm. was thrown in jail. Mm -hmm. So he's out here evangelizing. He's trying to make more. Mm -hmm. And they threw him in jail. Ooh. Come on. You mm -hmm. out here doing God's will. Mm -hmm. One of y'all got killed and one of y'all went to jail. Person. I mean, that's Ooh. perseverance to me. I mean, that's the, that's like the other side, the other arching, right? Yeah. It's not just the, hey, hang out with us Saturday night. They, they literally putting their life on the line on. to make sure this gospel gets heard. Amen? Amen. Hannah, 1 Samuel 1, 5 mm. through 20. Mm. Hannah persevered. She wanted a child so bad. Mm. She was one of two wives. Her mm -hmm. husband just could not understand her grief. But as a woman, mm -hmm. she wanted to bear a child. But she had not bore a child yet. And mm -hmm. even when she got to the uh, temple, mm -hmm. the priest there rebuked her, thinking she was doing something crazy. Mm -hmm. But what she was doing was pouring her heart out to mm -hmm. God. God, I want a child. I yes. want this son. I want this daughter. Whatever you give me, mm -hmm. if you do that, I will commit this child back to yes. you. And she ended up doing that. Samuel yes. was an amazing prophet amazing amazing yes. amazing i can't even go into the story but amazing read it for yourself first samuel 1 5 through 20 mm. hannah comes to mind she persevered mm. she went against mm. the ridicule because the, mm. the other wife had a lot of children mm -hmm. let's throw that out there she had a lot of children and used to mock mm. her make fun of her make her feel bad make her feel like she wasn't worth it she wasn't this she wasn't that mm. because she was barren and in that time if you didn't have a child it spoke about you mm. so women always wanted to be the one who could have children amen mm. how's that in some cultures now if you don't have children you're lesser mm. than the woman who does have children right. so that tradition still re resounds Ooh, in certain cultures different. but mm. god, what god has for you in his timing mm is for you and it's not you were not made for man you were not made for that family member you were not made for that organization you were not made for any of this yes god may use you to orchestrate in all these different arenas but god made you to glorify him and in that he might use you for that organization but it's still the glory for him he might use you in your family but guess what it's still for his glory for him he might put you with these friends but Come guess on. what it's still it's for still his for glory Come on. so we have to remember that the glory of god mm -hmm. is why we are here yes. and so when we are new christians when we're just trying to persevere through obstacles you could be a christian who has dedicated their life for the last 5 10 15 years mm -hmm. it doesn't get easier to persevere through trials mm -hmm. the world is going to give you a narrative this is how mm -hmm. you should react in this situation 
but we should always use our word of God. This is how we get through. Prayer is how we get through. Fasting is how we get through. Worship is how we get through. Amen. Amen. And so the last one that came to mind was Paul and Barnabas. Acts 14, 8 to 20. I love that because mm. in that, it just showed in that chapter how Paul got stoned. He went to a town. They were mad at him. He was preaching the gospel of Jesus mm. Christ. They stoned him. I mm. could not believe it. They stoned mm. him. The believers were praying for him, Ooh. hoping he didn't die. They thought he was dead. Ooh. They stoned him to the point they thought he was dead. Mm. Come on, y'all. Mm. We, we mm. think our life is hard. They was getting tucked out. Stoned. Tucked out, but they said, I'm not gonna stop talking, I'm, I'm not going. gonna stop spreading this gospel, mm. I'm not gonna stop talking about how good God I'm was to me, amen. amen. And so, they nurtured him back to health. And the next day, it says, The next day, he went preaching back again yes, after they just stoned him the day before. I, get I mean, come on, y'all, persevering through obstacles and oppression. Mm. God has given us the tools, I mean, the, the biggest tool. Is the Holy Spirit. I didn't even mention that yet. Ooh. It is hard for new believers to grasp that concept. Maybe mm. we'll do a live on that as well. Holy Just Spirit. our experiences with that. But Holy Spirit is the ultimate tool. The mm. ultimate tool. Yes. His voice. He is a comforter. Mm. He is a nurturer. He is a counselor. Mm. He will get you through. Oh and leaning into that still small voice. Yes. Leaning into that still small voice. Mm. Coupling that with your word. Coupling that with prayer mm. in your solitude time. Yes. It's not just when you pray with other people. That, no, that's surface stuff. You got to then start praying on your own. Talking to God on your own. Hearing him for yourself. Mm. Amen? Amen. And then you couple that with worship. Your weapon. Psh, 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 that's my weapon. When I get mad or I'm, I'm worried or the, the world wants to throw stuff on me, I cut a song on. What is God speaking to my spirit? And that worship will get you through. You got to worship your way to a praise. You got to worship your way to victory. Hallelujah. You better pray them scriptures. Yes. And I'm getting better with that myself. Pray the scriptures. God has to hearken to his word. And so persevering through obstacles and oppression, sometimes you don't know what to say. You're discouraged. You're angry. You're anxious. You're sad. You're angry. You feel abandoned. You can feel a whole lot of things. But these tools will help you to overcome and get through. Mm. I know for myself, I've gone through a lot just as my sister has. Mm. Mm. But God has been teaching us on this journey mm. how these different tools we listed Ooh, hey. can help you along this Christian journey so that mm. way God will get the glory. Yeah. He will be able to use your life because that's why we're here. So God can use us in mm -hmm. how he sees fit. But he knows the secret petitions of our heart, how we feel inside. So along the journey, he will give us our heart's desires as long as we are aligned with him. But it helps us to persevere when times get hard. It helps us to persevere when what we're believing God for is not what we see. It's not what we're living. Amen. Amen. How hard is it to praise God? And you're like, God, I ain't got no money in my bank account. Ooh. How hard is it to praise God and my mama's sick on the deathbed and I done prayed to you 20 times and she ain't better yet? How hard is it to say when my children are acting up or I'm having family striving and God, I'm trying to do it your way, but I just want to pop off on them because they keep cussing at me or telling me how dumb I am or telling me this and that. Come on. How hard is it? To go hard for God when that person broke your heart. You thought that relationship was going to last and it didn't. Or that person you like decides to like someone else or or cheated on you or, or, or slept around on you or whatever. Amen. It's hard when you can't see the promises. It's hard when all you're holding on is to the word. But God says in due season, you will reap a harvest if you faint not. He says, what is it in Isaiah 40, 31? We will mount up on wings like eagles. We will soar. Hallelujah. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and not faint. God will empower us. God will give us the strength. God will give us the endurance to make it through. We know the traumas. We know the pain. We know the doubting yourself and putting yourself into bad situations. We are not perfect. Oh, no. We're just out here trying to get it right just like you. There it is. But how can we take that? 
how can we push forward and continue to push forward? You know, that's the other thing. Persevering when you just had a trial. Maybe it just feels like it's one thing after hit, the other. Hit, slug, hit, slug, hit, hit, hit kick, hit, uppercut. Hit. You're just like, all right, God. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I got nothing for you. That's when we lean on God even ever more. The Come ever on. more. Hold on to the hem of his garment. Yes. <laughs> just, just say, God, I know I don't have the strength. I know I don't have the patience. I know I don't have the love. I know I don't have all this, but you do. You got it. You got it, God. Tag in. That's what I tell Holy Spirit. Tag in. Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. Because Dasha need to pray. <laughs> just resting in him. Resting Ooh. in him. Hallelujah. So yeah. this is just a snippet. We can, we'll probably do another one on this topic because yeah. this is just life, y'all. We have to persevere through obstacles yeah. and oppression. God says in James 1, 2 and 4, mm. count it joy, brothers and sisters. Ooh. Count it joy, the trials and tribulations you experience, because it will produce perseverance. That perseverance will test our faith and build it. And through that, through the persevering, through our faith building up, we will become mature and complete. It's how can we continue on the day to day, staying rooted and grounded in Christ, growing in Christ for those who are new. Against what the world is saying. The world always got something to say. The enemy, Satan, mm, get behind me. He always got something to tell you how to do it. Oh, look at them. Look at her. Her life is better than you. If you do it my way, I could give you this. Lies from the pits of hell. Rebuke him and send him packing. Get behind me, Satan. You under my feet. I trample you like mud in the streets. Come on, Psalms 18. You trample him. Get out of here. <laughs> how can we persevere? when it just feels like everything's up against us? How can we persevere when it feels mm. like no one is supporting us? Mm. How can we persevere when we wish something was moving a little faster, mm. right? God's ways mm. are not our ways. Mm. Mm. His timing right. is not our time. Not our time. Mm. But he said, he promises us, as it says in Deuteronomy 28, mm. that he will provide certain Blessings to those who are obedient and submitted to him. It is clear. He wants to bless us. He wants to give us a good life. But we are here to glorify God and there is work to be done. Amen. Amen. So how can we persevere to do that work? Even when it's not picture perfect. Even when it's not the way we would want it to be. Even when it's not the picture we thought it would be. Even when it's not perfection. Amen. So we, we want to close out. We're trying yeah. to keep it short. Yes. The songs that we came up with for this. Yeah. This is just some food to chew on. Mm-hmm. The songs we mm-hmm. came up with. I, mm-hmm. My song that I recommended was Marvin's. She, she recommended Marvin Sapp, mm-hmm. My Testimony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The song I recommended was He Waited. Ooh. Travis Green. He Waited, Travis <sighs> Green. Mm-hmm. These are songs to meditate on that tie into this persevering through Mm. obstacles. You Mm. shall not die because God will bring you through. God Mm. will give you what is needed to make it to the next from glory to glory. Hallelujah. From glory to glory. That's the goal. And then my sister brought up a great one. Mm. Travis Green. Intentional. Mm. Because he's our intentional God. He will use anything we give him. Mm. God can. And he will. And so we just hope that this blessed you. We hope Mm -hmm. you can glean something from it. There was a lot of scriptures given throughout Mm -hmm. uh, Joshua Joshua 1.9. And what was your second one? Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30 and 2. uh, Acts 12, 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. First Samuel 1, verses 5 to 20. Mm -hmm. And Acts 14, 8 to 20. So just meditate on these scriptures. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to all be in one day. Take it throughout the week. Pull it mm-hmm. apart. Mm-hmm. Listen to those songs. Listen to it to a, a couple times. Mm-hmm. Listen to it a couple of times. Mm-hmm. I challenge you. Mm-hmm. And just sister. see what God says to you. Mm-hmm. See what he reveals. See what he mm-hmm. illuminates. Mm-hmm. Deep dive with the Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. We love you. We hope this blessed you. Even if it blesses one, my, my, mm-hmm. my mission is complete. Yeah. Not for fame, not for personal. Mm-hmm. Eh, I don't care about, we don't care about none of that. No. That's one thing that is like, 
we are opposites in certain ways, but there's certain things that are very clear. We don't want none of that. We don't no. care. We don't care about all that. Mm -mm. We don't care about followers and all that. Oh, we just my. want the world to know. We want God mm -hmm. to shine. God sits on the throne There's here. Light all the way through. Amen. And so we hope it blesses at least one person. Mm -hmm. And we love you. And we'll see you the next time. Bye. Yeah.